Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome the faculty of Indian River Charter High School, followed by our amazing graduating class of 2023.
At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Gene Waddell, the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Indian River Charter High School. Good afternoon. Welcome. Are there seats out there for the people at the door? If you have a seat near you, there's some in the back row up here. Okay. Yeah. Some in this corner. Okay, on behalf of the Board of Directors of Indian River Charter High School, I would like, like to welcome you to the 25th high school graduation for Indian River Charter High School. Our first graduation was in 1999. We were in a little chapel in a church. There were six graduates. Come a long way, baby. <clears throat> I would like to welcome the Board of Directors of Indian River Charter High School. They're on the front row here if you want to catch any of them on the way out. Uh, Dr. Peggy Jones, Indian, R uh, Indian River County School Board, and especially our faculty. You saw they paraded across one time but I would like them to stand if they would, please. I can assure you, without these folks, some of these folks might not be here. They are a wonderful group of people. If you have never been to one of our graduations, it's a little different than what you might have been used to. One, I hope you got all your cat calls out of the way. <laughs> because it's not, it's not a funeral, but it's a, a more solemn occasion. What we do is as a graduate comes across, we tell you what they did during their high school career and what their future plans are. And if there's a lot of hooping and hollering, you might not hear what's going on with your child. So let's be respectful of each other and uh, try to keep the cat calls way down. That being said, let's proceed with our graduation. Thank you, Mr. Waddell. My name is Gregory Zychek and I am the principal, the very proud principal of Indian River Charter High School. Thank you. What, what a wonderful moment in time. Wonderful for you, the families of these amazing graduates. This day, this is the day that each of you has been waiting for and working towards since you packed their first lunch and dropped them off at kindergarten all those years ago. It's wonderful for you, the staff and faculty of Charter. You've worked so diligently over four years to provide learning opportunities so that each one of these graduates is ready to live a productive, full, and satisfying life. Thank you. Wonderful for you guys, the graduates of 2023, your hard work to meet the demands of the curriculum, your dedication to volunteerism in our community, and your character of integrity and honesty led you here the graduation stage of the most phenomenal and innovative high school in Florida. Thank you. And even though there's not many present, it's also a wonderful day for our underclassmen. They have witnessed this class's leadership, friendship, and love over the last few years. In fact, this admiration has prompted us in recent years to create a new tradition at Indian River Charter High School and at our uh, graduation ceremony, where a representative of our junior class is chosen to deliver a special message to our graduates. At this time, I would like to invite to the stage 
Samara Lewis, the representative from the class of 2024. Hello, my name is Samara Lewis, and it is truly an honor to stand before you today as representative of the junior class. My heartiest and sincere congratulations go out to each one of you on reaching a major milestone in your young lives. This journey must have felt like a lifetime ago when you first entered Charter with all your dreams and expectations of high school life and the many opportunities to meet new friends, teachers, and to begin the journey of charting your lives for the future. Unfortunately, during this time, you had to experience the pandemic and adjust to school life with new challenges that were totally foreign to you. But it is moments like these that transcend through time, which help shape the individuals that you've now become. The stronger the why things like this happen, the easier the how do we overcome becomes. Creating a new sense of determination, resilience, and hope that each one of you have displayed over these past few years. Your determination to succeed despite the obstacles that were presented to you show your resiliency, a trait that will harbor well for your future success in life. This class was determined to have a great attitude and you were willing to put in that extra effort, not just for yourselves, but for your peers as well. Having been around many of you, I can personally attest to that determination. The class of 2023 has shown us, the class of 2024, the way to unlock your success is to focus on your goals, not your obstacles. A lifelong lesson. Being in the VAPA program, I have observed how much of an impact the school has had on all your lives to express your passions, abilities, and desires to show your art through this school. It has truly been an honor watching each of you shine through all the amazing things you've done. Your worth ethic is something I can only hope to achieve in the future. Kevin Gerald, a famous author and second generation pastor once said, if you're going to make progress, you have to be more committed to your dreams than your comfort. Something each one of you proudly displayed and gave us underclassmen new role models to look up to. Which brings me to my last trait, hope. An expectation and desire to make things happen. The class of 2023 has shown a relentless desire to succeed. With the help of your teachers and friends, your lives have been transformed and you are now prepared to face the challenges of an unknown future. Always remember that your gratitude and humility have the potential to unlock wonderful things in your lives. One of the true secrets of getting ahead is getting started. And this is what Charter has prepared you for over these past few years. They have not just helped to mold brilliant minds and develop future leaders, but individuals that can make a difference in our society. Whether watching some of my favorite seniors make history by performing at the very first Black History Month brown bag or watching the time, hard work, and dedication put into making Little Shop of Horrors, the VAPA seniors have taught us determination. In witnessing them make a difference in our community by taking action in campus clubs, such as National Honor Society, without seeing the end benefit of your volunteerism, you taught us hope. You've also taught us resiliency by keeping our campus active during the pandemic. Whether you were in Model UN traveling to three conferences, making some of the most insanely good music I've ever heard in jazz, or bringing a main stage to states after a pandemic, they've never failed to show their drive to succeed. Class of 2023, your future awaits you. Chase your goals and dreams with passion and confidence. Don't be afraid to be bold, innovative, and commit yourself to excellence so you can live the life you've envisioned for your future. But know this, Charter will never forget about you. Congratulations once again, Class of 2023. We love you. <laughs> At this time, I would like to now invite Ms. Amelia Strizola to the stage to introduce our salutatorian. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Just kidding, I guess I only know how to do the morning announcements. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor to be here speaking today 
about one of the most influential people I know. She is a talented musician, she has a heart of gold, and she is well known for her kind smile and her sweet disposition. I am, of course, talking about 12-time Grammy winner Taylor Allison Swift. Has anybody been to the Eras Tour? It changed my life. <laughs> 10 minutes of all too well was not enough. Okay, the real reason I'm up here has a little bit to do with Taylor Swift, but more to do with a student right to my left. This student walked into my classroom last year as a student who is quiet, but a student who has the sweetest personality. She has the kindest smile you could ever imagine. Yes, she too, like Taylor Allison Swift, is a talented musician and she has a heart of gold, but she is so much more. Sorry. As the managing editor of our yearbook, she has dedicated tireless hours to making sure her classmates are featured in a piece of history. She is also a member of both the National Honor Society, the Student Council, is an active member of the orchestra, performing in musicals, VAPA shows, concerts, and more, and is part of the very exclusive lunch club that meets in Jillian Kelly's room during lunch, I guess. This young woman has truly embraced and embodied the charter way. Her dedication to the yearbook staff is what I'd like to speak about today. Her hard work was instrumental in ensuring our yearbook showcased what charter truly is about, our unique school culture. Her yearbook spreads had over 50 photos on each of them, but still somehow she made them look cohesive, well put together, and not confusing. This is just the way she operates. She doesn't want to leave anyone out. Her attention to detail and her ability to bring the best in her designs mirrors the way she brings out the best in her classmates and those around her. Katie. To quote our school's yearbook title, it's been quite a ride. From working on the yearbook for long hours to arranging prom flowers, from bonding over Taylor Swift's new album, Midnights, to serendipitously running into each other at her concert in Tampa, I know all too well that, long story short, these were the best days. I will miss your quiet confidence, your unwavering loyalty, and the way you always say, of course, when I ask you to do the morning announcements. Katie, as you walk the stage with your friends and classmates, I hope you feel the pride in knowing you are such a vital part in making and preserving so many memories for all of us here. To quote our favorite girl one more time, long live all the magic we made. Graduates, family, staff members, and friends, it is now my esteemed honor to introduce to you our class of 2023 salutatorian, Ms. Catherine Harmody. Good afternoon, class of 2023, and all those who have helped us reach this moment. I am honored to be here representing our class as your salutatorian. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize some of the people who have helped me get here today. Thank you to my parents and family for always supporting and encouraging me, my teachers for pushing me, my friends for believing in me, and Ms. Trizula for showing me what it really means to be a part of Charter. Anyone who knows me knows that there's almost nothing that terrifies me more than having to give a speech in front of a crowd of this size. But if there's one thing that I've learned in the past four years at Charter, with the help of my favorite musical artist, Taylor Swift, it's to never let fear hold you back, to embrace the idea of being fearless. Before setting foot on Charter's campus, there are many things that little freshman Katie swore up and down she would not be doing. She was not planning to be an orchestra, she was not planning to be on the yearbook staff. She was not planning to join any clubs and she was not planning to take AP classes. In fact, probably similar to some of you, she really wasn't even sure if she wanted to go to charter at all. Not because she didn't want to do these things, 
but because little freshman Katie was scared and unsure of them. Fast forward four years, I can confidently say that I have never regretted a single one of these experiences, except maybe occasionally those AP classes, but only when I'm still up studying past midnight. If I had allowed fear to get in my way, I would have missed out on some of my favorite memories from the last four years, including being at the school till 10 p.m. for musical rehearsals, working on the yearbook for hours while singing along to music in Mr. Zula's office, and miraculously throwing together a VAPA show in a couple of days after a hurricane. But most importantly, I would have missed out on being a part of something bigger than myself. I can confidently say that if little Katie could see me now, she'd be proud. I want to ask you now, class of 2023, to think of little you. Think back to the day that we first walked around the school with our new home bases during freshman orientation. Back when we were unsure of ourselves, some of us timid, quiet, or awkward. Back before we learned to use a camera, play an instrument in front of a big crowd, recite a monologue, solve the quadratic equation, and much to our parents' relief, properly sweep and mop a floor. Back before we were fearless. Be proud, class of 2023, that the person you are today and all the things you've accomplished have exceeded the expectations that little you once held. While our time at Charter may be coming to a close and we're setting off on many different paths, we'll forever remain connected by our shared experiences. From walking to Chick-fil-A as freshmen to now walking across the stage today as seniors, we have come a long way. Together, we have seen both good times and tough times. We've put on many shows and musicals, participated in intense competitions in our home bases, endured a pandemic in the world of virtual learning, watched as the debt came down and buildings went up, studied for AP exams and college finals, created incredible artwork, and learned the charter way. These are the memories that we must hold on to as we leave high school and embark on our next big adventure. I sincerely hope that wherever your future leads, you will continue to never let fear hold you back from making new memories that could last a lifetime. I hope you'll forever remain fearless. And now for the final time, good afternoon IRCHS. This is yearbook student Katie. Happy Saturday. Today's quote comes from Taylor Allison Swift. She states, the scary news is you're on your own now, but the cool news is you're on your own now. Thanks IRCHS, have a great day and congratulations class of 2023. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. David Mundy to the stage to introduce our valedictorian. Mr. Dave Mundy. Good afternoon, parents, family, friends, relatives, distinguished board members, special guests, colleagues, and faculty of Indian River Charter High School and the graduating class of 2023, congratulations to you all. I am so very honored and privileged to introduce this year's valedictorian, Tanner Goulet. As you may recall last year, Tanner was selected by the student body, you guys, as juniors to deliver the outgoing message to the class of 2022. In that address, Tanner acknowledged three very important characteristics that the class of 2022 had demonstrated in their pre- and post-pandemic experience. Their ability to improvise, their ability to adapt, and their ability to overcome. These words spoken in power and in truth came from the heart of a young man who knows firsthand about adaptation, about overcoming difficulties, and most prominently, improvising. Your high school experience was like no other, unprecedented and completely unique. You learned from your predecessors and did the exact same thing, class of 2023. You improvised, you adapted, and you overcame in the true charter fashion. I was fortunate to have met Tanner through the Fort Pierce Jazz and Blues Society when he was just a middle schooler at St. Anastasia's down in Fort Pierce. 
After listening to this young and determined musician filled with fire and passion for his musical craft, I was very pleased to find out and learn that he was choosing charter to continue his musical journey. Although it is not so much Tanner's accomplishments that I want to share with you today, it is more about the man that I have seen flourish and grow as a student at Charter. Tanner has never been about what he is going to be, but about who he is going to be. Tanner is a champion. Tanner is a Charter champion. Tanner, at the top of his class, is graduating high school with his AA degree from Indian River State College. He has served on the student council and is the president of the National Honor Society. His musicianship has earned him over uh, other advancements, including scholarships to the Berkeley College of Music, Florida State University, a full ride to the University of North Florida, 8,000 bucks to the State University of New York's Purchase College, and a full ride to his college of choice, University of Central Florida. He earned a $1,250 scholarship for the Bob Washington Jazz Competition in Orlando, a Fort Pierce Jazz and Blues Society $1,000 scholarship, and a $4,000 scholarship with the Treasure Coast Jazz Society, all based upon his musicianship and his performance. <laughs> Tanner has also earned the Boy Scout of America's highest rank, the Eagle Scout. I was proud to, yes. I was proud to be present at Tanner's induction as an Eagle Scout uh, in his junior year. The Eagle Scout, if you don't know, represents proficiency in all scouting skills and is attained by only about 2% of all young men in scouting. It is the highest honor a scout can achieve. The Eagle Scout embodies, the Eagle Scout law embodies the traits of trustworthiness, loyalty, helpfulness, friendliness, courteousness, kindness, obedience, cheerfulness, thriftiness, bravery, cleanliness, and reverence. If you know Tanner, you know he exudes all of these characteristics. Tanner proudly practices each and every one of those traits each and every day. Tanner knows that you don't have to be the best, you just have to work harder than everybody else. He is a thinker, he is a student of the arts, a student of life, and that there is something to be learned in every situation. He loves to learn and loves to lead. He doesn't take no for an answer, and he doesn't give no as an answer. He knows that in pers being persistent by showing up for life, by staying true to the path that God has planned for him, that he will continue to become the man, the artist, the musician that he is to be. Tanner is a champion, but he is not the only champion that is here today. We know that the leader of the Wolf Pack doesn't lead from the front, at least from the back. He leads from the back of the pack, keeping the weaker and frail, sometimes injured and sick wolves in the middle of the pack, and puts the strong and fast fighters out front, making sure everybody gets to where they're going together, unified as family together. Tanner, we're very proud of you. May people fall in love with your music and to your music. May their hearts be peeled by your smooth and sweet tone of your beautiful saxophone. May they dance with joy to the rhythm of your samba, and may your world spin with the rhythm of your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2023, I give you the valedictorian, Tanner Goulet. My name is Tanner Goulet, and I'm speaking before you as the valedictorian of Indian River Charter High School. I've worked hard to earn this honor, and I am very grateful for this opportunity to speak in front of you. At the beginning of this month, Mr. Zajcek called Katie Harmody, this year's salutatorian, and me into his office. He strongly encouraged us to start our speeches. And like anyone in this age of technology, I went straight to YouTube and looked up <laughs> high school valedictorian speeches. I found some great ones and some not so great ones, but no matter the quality of said speech, I struggled to find one which I could relate, to which I could relate. 
back to the drawing board. I had all of these ideas, stories, and experiences I wanted to share, but I could not find order in these ideas. I asked my dad for help, and he said, you need to paint a picture of what charter is like for those who have not experienced it. I had all the vision, but no dots of paint to create a Sunday in the park, or our VAPA shows Saturday in the park. Now, now, if you'll indulge me, the student experience at Charter is unique compared to other high schools. At traditional high schools, the students go to school, wait for the bell, and go home, unless they have sports or a show that requires rehearsals. At Charter, there are no bells. Students where they need to be and when. Students at Charter, especially VAPA students, stay at school most nights till as late as 11 o'clock. There is always work to be done. We have clubs on campus that are doing at least two or three community outreach events every month. Students at Charter care about their school and their communities. We have high standards for academics, as many students split their time on campus and at the college campus right next door. If you're lucky, you'll see high school students cross the street to make their college class on time. We fight against unimaginable conditions to practice the arts. We don't have a beautiful facility like this PAC we are sitting in. We have a dome, an open air dome that has featured performances where saxophone players walk through the aisle and a musical where students, where three students were eaten by a man eating plant. <laughs> and we wouldn't give the dome up for anything. I remember walking through the dome to my botany class, shout out Mr. Ramirez, and as I came around the corner, boom, Audrey too was staring right at me. She looked hungry. You don't get those kinds of experiences at a traditional high school. The school is collaborative. The harmony between disciplines is truly breathtaking. There are no lines in the sand, and everybody cares about the success of everyone else. Dancers need music from musicians. Bands need singers. Photographers need subjects for photos. There is always room for an extra keyboard player in the orchestra pit for the musical. And none of this could be accomplished without a stage to stand on or without lights so the audience can see our faces. In, addi in addition to this, we continue to keep ourselves academically challenged. I'm proud of this class. This year, 18 seniors graduated from college with their AA degree before graduating from high school. And there are dozens more seniors who have taken dual enrollment classes through IRSC. In an attempt in a final attempt to fully paint a picture of student life at IRCHS, I would suggest you binge watch the Nickelodeon show Victorious. I like to say that Charter is just like the school in that show, but with half the budget. <laughs> Four years ago, I walked into the band room and stood in front of Mr. Mundy, the director of jazz studies, and Mr. Haro, the, or the orchestra teacher at the time, for my VAPA instrumental jazz audition. I played two pieces. The first was a classical saxophone piece my middle school band director made me learn, and the second was a jazz adaptation of the popular George Michael song, Careless Whisper. Both Davids, Mundy and Hero, congratulated me on making it into the second highest jazz ensemble, the Hypersound Band. I was ecstatic. I later ran into Mr. Mundy at a jazz, jazz jam session, and he informed me that I wouldn't be playing with Hypersound, but instead, I would be playing with the Wolves, the flagship jazz ensemble. I was terrified. School started, and I immediately loved it, but I had no idea what my future held. Months passed, and I survived my first VAPA show, featuring me playing recorder, yes, the instrument everyone was forced to learn in elementary school, a winter jam, a few too many lunchtime concerts, the musical Camelot, and a terrible haircut freshman year. March 20 rolled around, and as we all know, our one week of spring break got extended by a year. We were forced into quarantine and it was terrible, but COVID-19 did not define the class of 2023. Resilience defines the class of 2023. I mean, what other senior class in the world has succeeded through a pandemic, learning through a screen, and not one, but two post-hurricane 13-hour VAPA show rehearsals? Last year, I spoke before the class of 2022 as junior class representative, and I mentioned three words to practice throughout life. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. I mention these words not only because not only did we improvise, adapt, and overcome the challenges we faced in quarantine, we were resilient and stepped up to the challenge of doing what we love and created something against where all odds were against us. 
junior year, we continued to step up to the plate, to lead, and to build up our school and our programs to be better than ever before. Recently, I left the National Honor Society inductees with a quote. The quote says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This quote's purpose was to inspire the new inductees to find a community at Charter to collaborate with in order to progress. Similarly, I emphasize the same thing to the class of 2023, but with a slightly different interpretation. We have gone so far together, but in the next year, in order to grow, each of us will have to find new communities. I say this not to scare you, but to prepare you for the reality of post high school life. Each of us is capable of going far because community defines the class of 2023. We persevered to create a professional space for academics and the arts where expectations are high. Perseverance defines the class of 2023. We hunger for perfection and will not stop until greatness is achieved and maintained. Passion for greatness defines the class of 2023. Class of 2023, I commend you on your achievements and hard work. I ask you to carry these expectations and philosophies throughout your life. Hold yourself to the highest of standards and know your worth. Respect others and always remember to seize the day, the charter way. All of this being said, I have a question for my fellow classmates. If your experience has been anything like mine, you've encountered this question many times this year. I'm positive you've heard, are you ready to graduate? Graduation is just around the corner, are you ready for it? Have you picked a school yet? Are you ready to graduate? I always thought this was a complex question. Yes, we are excited for the future, but are we ready to leave all of this behind? The future holds lots of big changes for us. Class of 2023, let's embrace these changes. Attack these new opportunities. Today answers the question, yes, we are ready to graduate. It may be terrifying, but look at what you've done in this one-of-a-kind school. Look at how much was accomplished and how far we have gone together. Find your new communities and go far but always remember our community and our class. If you are unfamiliar with, this, with our school, this is what Charter does. We build lifelong bonds, we take care of one another, and we push each other to our fullest potentials. This is what it is like to attend Indian River Charter High School. This is a very special place, and my time here was well spent. I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak in front of my family, friends, and fellow classmates as the valedictorian of class of 2023. Valedictorian, or valedictory, comes from the Latin word valeditere, meaning formal farewell. Families, friends, class of 2023, this is my formal farewell. My final goodbye to all that was accomplished in my time and my fellow classmates' time here at this amazing school. A final bow, as we like to say on stage. A final thank you to everyone who made my time here amazing. Thank you to my family, more specifically my mom, my dad, my sister Lily, Mr. Mundy, every Wolves fan for the past four years. I'd like to thank my teachers, whose classes I was always late to. I'd like to thank Mr. Zajcek and Dr. Selinsky for understanding my one million missed periods. And to the class of 2023, Thank you for the memories we have shared, the friendships we have made, and the community we built. Congratulations, class of 2023. I bid you farewell. time to begin the recognition of our graduates. Before we begin, as Mr. Waddell said, I want to let you know that our ceremony is quite unique. And not only do we recognize the student's name, but we recognize their list of accomplishments. So please stand when you hear the name of your graduate. But in order to hear all the accolades, please hold your applause till all of the graduates have been recognized. I'd like to invite Ms. Kafer to the stage, Dr. Selensky, Mr. Waddell to confer and issue the diplomas.
Tanner Jacques Goulet, Indian River Charter High School's 2023 valedictorian, will attend the University of Central Florida, where he will major in jazz studies. He graduated from Indian River State College with 62 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He is an advanced placement scholar with honors. He has earned a scholar's diploma designation, an endorsement in instrumental jazz, and is a Florida academic scholar. <laughs> Catherine Harmony, Indian River Charter High School's 2023 salutatorian, will attend the University of Florida, where she will major in pre-pharmacy. She has earned 38 college credits from Indian River State College. She is an advanced placement scholar. She has earned a scholar's diploma designation, endorsements in orchestra and yearbook, and is a Florida academic scholar. <laughs> Colin McClure will attend the University of Florida, where he will major in computer engineering. He graduated from Indian River State College with 82 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and is a Florida Academic Scholar. Marty Patricia Ladd will attend the University of Virginia where she will major in Anthropology and Linguistics. She is an Advanced Placement Scholar with distinction and has an AP Capstone Diploma. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and the Gold Seal of Biliteracy. Akash Kandu will attend the University of Florida where he will, graduate, well, he will major in Business Administration and Pre-Law. He graduated from Indian River State College with 66 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He is an Advanced Placement and Florida Medallion Scholar. Jacob Longnecker will attend the University of North Florida where he will major in jazz studies. He graduated from Indian River State College with 60 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He has earned an endorsement in instrumental jazz. He is a Florida academic scholar. Pierre Sander will attend Florida Polytechnic University where he will major in computer science with a concentration in game design and simulation. He has earned 26 college credits from Indian River State College. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation, an endorsement in visual arts, and an artistic recognition in digital arts. Jackson Tomich will attend the University of Central Florida where he will major in biomedical science. He graduated from Indian River State College with 60 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He is an advanced placement scholar he has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and is a Florida Academic Scholar. Daniel T. Bagos will attend the University of Central Florida where he will major in Software Engineering. He graduated from Indian River State College with 53 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and an Artistic Recognition in Digital Arts. He is a Florida Academic Scholar. Ava Kopchak will attend Rollins College, where she will double major in biology and computer science. She has earned 39 college credits from Indian River State College. She is an advanced placement scholar. She has earned a scholar's diploma designation, an endorsement in visual arts, and is a Florida academic scholar. Catherine Grace Strader will attend Eckerd College, where she will major in animal studies. She graduated from Indian River State College with 48 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. She is an Advanced Placement Scholar. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation, an endorsement in choral music, and is a Florida Academic Scholar. Ethan Bell will attend the University of Central Florida where he will major in Biomedical Science. He graduated from Indian River State College with 73 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and is a Florida Academic Scholar. <laughs> Lily Marie Phillips will attend the University of Florida where she will major in Aerospace Engineering. She has earned 39 college credits from Indian River State College. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation, an endorsement in Instrumental Jazz, and is a Florida Academic Scholar. <laughs> Lillian June Hale 
will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in English. She has earned 18 college credits from Indian River State College. She has earned a scholar's diploma designation, an endorsement in yearbook, and is a Florida academic scholar. <laughs> Farhan Sharar will attend the University of Central Florida, where he will major in biotechnology. He has earned 47 college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. Caleb Anthony Adair will attend Indian River State College where he will major in biology. He has earned 32 college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Adamson will attend Indian River State College where she will major in theater. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and has endorsements in acting and musical theater. <laughs> Elliot Patrick Alley will attend Rollins College, where he will major in history. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College, a scholar's diploma designation, and an endorsement in photography. Aureli Alvarado will attend flight school to earn her commercial pilot's license. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Andrew D. Byrell will attend Indian River State College where he will major in organizational management. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College, a scholar's diploma designation, and an endorsement in technical theater. Pietra Bagnoli is an international student from Brazil. After graduation, she will return to her home country to continue her education. Amy Catherine Vittori will attend the University of South Florida where she will major in biology. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. She is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Zari Bebahani will attend Indian River State College where she will major in pre-med biology. She has earned 32 college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. <laughs> Taylor Benica will attend Indian River State College where she will major in dermatology. She has earned an endorsement in technical theater. Giselle Bonilla will attend Indian River State College, where she will major, major in Dental Assisting Technology and Management. Cody Brian Brault will be pursuing a career as an electrician. Matthew Brognano will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in Science. William Brognano will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in Dentistry. He has earned an artistic recognition in film arts. Ryan Burnett will attend Miami-Dade College where he will major in economics. Lyon Burns will attend the University of North Florida where he will major in clinical psychology. He has an advanced placement scholar and has a scholar's diploma designation. He is a Florida academic scholar. Madison Taylor Burns will attend Indian River State College where she will major in health science. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College. Zachary Michael Byers will attend the University of Central Florida where he will major in mechanical engineering. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Bailey Bird will attend Indian River State College where she will major in criminal justice. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Alice Campagnoli is an international student from Italy. After graduation, she will return to her home country to complete her last year of high school. Duncan Ray Chalmers will attend Virginia Tech where he will major in electrical engineering he has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. Marianne Iris Quint Carlotti is an international student from France. After graduation, she will return to her home country to complete her last year of high school. Madeline Grace Coppola will attend Palm Beach Atlantic University where she will major in pre-pharmacy. Carly Cortegara Riggs will attend Moore College of Art and Design where they will major in illustration.
They've earned six college credits from Indian University College, a scholar's diploma designation, and an endorsement in visual arts. <laughs> Michael Densmore will attend Indian University College, where he will major in information technology. He has earned 30 college credits from Indian University College. <laughs> Julian Desart will attend Indian University College, where he will major in writing. Sebastian Desart will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in film and screenwriting. Screen screen <laughs> Maria Fernanda Diaz will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in medical assisting. Gavin Deganji will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in nursing. Ruth Elaine Dodds will attend Liberty University where she will major in marine biology. Victoria C. Dadell will attend Florida State University where she will major in interior design. She graduated from Indian River State College with 61 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and an endorsement in ballet, acting, and musical theater. She is a Florida Academic Scholar. Hannah Edinger will attend Indian River State College where she will major in biology. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College. John Urbanbeck will attend Indian River State College where he will major in business and economics. William Farmer will attend Treasure Coast Medical Institute where he will study to be a fire medic. He has earned 12 college credits from Indian River State College. Jacob Fernandez will attend Indian River State College where he will major in computer science. Mateo Leon Fursing will be serving our country in the United States Navy. Cameron J. Foster will attend the University of Central Florida where she will major in aerospace engineering. She has earned 40 college credits from Indian River State College and the Silver Seal of Biliteracy. Ian Domenico Franco will attend Indian River State College where he will major in engineering. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Michael R. Frank will attend Indian River State College where he will major in fire science. Nash W. Fuller will attend Indian River State College where he will major in cybersecurity. Alexandra Ganahova is an international student from Slovakia who earned a high school diploma. She will return to her country to attend college and major in business management. Vincent Ganji will attend Indian River State College where he will major in criminal justice. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Darla Marie Garrity will attend Indian River State College where she will major in illustration. Joseph Gibula will attend Indian River State College where he will major in computer hardware engineering. Amber Lee Grassman will attend the University of North Florida where she will major in anthropology. She has earned 11 college credits from Indian River State College and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Daniel Green will attend Indian River State College where he will major in political science. He has 10 college credits from Indian River State College and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Alexander Hardin will attend Indian River State College where he will major in welding technology. Lauren Harvard will attend the University of Central Florida where she will major in communication, sciences, and disorders. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and an endorsement in yearbook. She is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Thomas M. Havens will be entering the workforce. Isabella Esperanza Hernandez will attend Bernal University where she will major in technical theater. 
She has earned 18 college credits from Indiana University College and an endorsement in technical theater. <laughs> Selma Holter Sorensen is an international student from Norway. After graduation, she will return to her home country to complete her last year of high school. <laughs> Kinsey A. Huff will attend Florida Atlantic University where she will major in nursing. She graduated from Indiana University College with 64 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation. <laughs> Mackenzie Heil will attend Florida International University where she will major in international business. She has earned 51 college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Charlotte Illich will attend Indian River State College where she will major in phlebotomy. Abigail M. Intracasso will attend Indian River State College where she will major in culinary management. She has earned 12 college credits from Indian River State College and has an endorsement in instrumental jazz. <laughs> Aiden Jensen will attend Florence University of the Arts where he will major in culinary. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Cadence Johnson will attend Florida Polytechnic University where she will major in aerospace engineering. She has earned 57 college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. She is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Kristen Lee Jones will attend the University of Central Florida where she will major in aerospace engineering. She has earned 59 college credits from Indian River State College, a Scholar's Diploma designation, and an endorsement in choral music. She is a Florida Academic Scholar. <laughs> Jaden Alexander Kafer will attend the University of Central Florida, where he will major in civil engineering. He has earned 25 college credits from Indian River State College a Scholar's Diploma designation, and an endorsement in acting. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Rebecca Kaler will attend Florida Southern College, where, where she will major in a musical theater BFA program and minor in technical theater. She has earned 44 college credits from Indian River State College. She is an advanced placement scholar and has earned an endorsement in musical theater and acting. She is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Nathan Kelso will attend Indian River State College where he will major in history. He has earned an artistic recognition in film arts. James King will attend Indian River State College where he will major in music. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in choral music. <laughs> Neo King will take a gap year before continuing his education. <laughs> Liliana Rain Knott will be pursuing a career in cosmetology. <laughs> Sophia Grace Coley will attend the University of Calgary, where she will major in nursing. She has earned 12 college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Kozar will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in nursing. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Kevin Mullane will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in graphics technology and digital media. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in photography. <laughs> Ash Lang will pursue a career in theatrical makeup artistry. They have earned an endorsement in technical theater. <laughs> Mackenzie Laporta will attend Indian River State College where she will major in humanities. Adrian Hope Lorenzano will be pursuing a career in real estate. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. 
Caitlin Marie Left will attend the University of South Alabama, where she will major in pre-med. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in yearbook. <laughs> Michaela Elizabeth Lemus will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in digital media. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in yearbook. Benjamin Leonard will attend Florida State University where he will major in exercise physiology. He has earned 41 college credits from Indian River State College and a scholar's diploma designation. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Keisha LaRiche will attend the University of Central Florida where she will major in psychology. She graduated from Indian River State College with 61 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and an endorsement in dance arts. <laughs> Jeremias A. Leyes will attend Universidad de Palermo, where he will major in software engineering. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Laird Rory Loveridge will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in business. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Ricardo Lucchini is an international student from Italy. After graduation, he will return to his home country to complete his last year of high school. Joshua Luna will attend an online art school where he will major in digital art. Gabriella Eden McDonald will attend Indian River State College where she will major in nursing. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Aubrey Machado will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in elementary education. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Juan Macias will pursue a career in landscaping. Natalie Mann will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in elementary education. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College and a Scholar's Diploma designation. She is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Bradley Mark will attend the University of Central Florida where he will major in political science. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Samantha Marcellisi will attend Indian River State College where she will major in business and explore her options. Zoe Marshall will attend the University of Central Florida where she will major in studio arts. She is an advanced placement scholar. She has earned an endorsement in visual arts and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Bowden Scott Martin will pursue a career as an entrepreneur. Eduardo Martini is an international student from Italy. After graduation, he will return to his home country to complete his last year of high school. Matthew McCarthy will attend the University of Central Florida where he will major in computer science. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Chloe Ray McDonald will attend Indian River State College where she will major in business for real estate law. She has earned 12 college credits from Indian River State College and a Scholar's Diploma designation. Sean Patrick McDonald will attend Indian River State College where he will major in English for pre-law. He has earned nine college credits from Indian River State College and a Scholar's Diploma designation. <laughs> Nicholas Riley McGraw will serve our country in the United States Army. <laughs> Julia McGriff will attend Indian River State College where she will major in health science. Apolline Michel is an international student from France. After graduation, she will return to her home country to attend the university to study history. Charlie Miller will attend Indian River State College where she will major in graphic design. She has earned 10 college credits from Indian River State College and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Emma Anais Misasulu will attend Florida Atlantic University where she will major in marketing. 
She has earned 38 college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in yearbook. Logan Monaco will attend Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, where he will major in contemporary dance. He has received 33 college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in dance arts. Joshua, Joshua Andre Jr. Morency will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in political science. Ryan Christiansen Morris will attend the University of Central Florida, where he will major in computer science. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Maxwell Moskowitz will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in business. <laughs> Joshua Murray will attend the University of Central Florida, where he will major in psychology. He has received three college credits from Indian River State College and a Scholar's Diploma designation. Erica N. Muzzy will attend Penn Foster College, where she will major in veterinary science. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in photography. Peter Natoli will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in business. He has earned six college credits from Indian River State College and a Scholar's Diploma designation. Angelina Novelli will attend Indian River State College Fire Academy, where she will major in fire science. Alexander Noy will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in engineering. He has earned 39 college credits from Indian River State College. Cooper Reed O'Neill will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in computer science. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Dahlia Ortiz will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in criminal justice. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Corbin Palmer will attend the University of Central Florida, where he will major in mechanical engineering. He has earned 12 college credits from Indian River State College and a Scholar's Diploma designation. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Kiara Parada will attend Nova Southeastern University where she will major in biology pre-medicine. She has earned 15 college credits from Indian River State College and endorsements in dance arts and dance ballet. <laughs> Connor Joseph Partlow will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in EMT and fire science. <laughs> Lisbeth Perez Monter will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in foreign language. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Everett Pierce will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in science. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation. Julie Piron is an international student from Belgium. After graduation, she will attend Université Libre de Bruxelles, where she will major in psychology. <laughs> Trevin Isaiah Powell will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in biology pre-professional and minor in psychology. <laughs> Melina Rose Ramirez, will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in political science. She has earned 30 college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Bianca Isabel Ramirez Flores will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in nursing. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Talon Alexander Reynolds, will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in business marketing. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. <laughs> Noah Rich Royale will attend the University of North Florida, where he will major in exercise science. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Francisco Rosado, will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in education and theatrical arts. 
Victoria Sacosio is an international student from France. After graduation, she will attend Paul Bocuse Institute, where she will major in hotel management. Ludovica Sala is an international student from Italy. After graduation, she will return to her home country to complete her final year of high school. Aislinn Leilani Sanders will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in history. Jasmine Scafetta Arell will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in biology. Cooper Jean Scalercio will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in digital media technology. He has earned an artistic recognition in film arts. <laughs> Kayla Z. Serki will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in dance and business. She has earned 15 college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in musical theater. <laughs> Brianna Mia Serrano will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in health science and dental hygiene. Connor Roy Shepard will attend Florida Southern College, where he will major in marine biology. He graduated from Indian River State College with 63 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Dylan Sherritt will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in secondary education. Jay Syke will attend Indian River State College, where they will major in art and astronomy. Jenna Simmons will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in free professional biology. She has earned 27 college credits from Indian River State College. Aaliyah Simpkins will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in health science. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College. Reagan Grace Singer will attend Nova Southeastern University, where she will major in elementary education. She has earned 21 college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in technical theater. Kelly Sittler will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in biology. She has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Honey Smith will attend Indian River State College, where she will major in mass communications. She has earned an endorsement in photography. Daniel Santiago Sosa will attend Southeastern University, where he will major in kinesiology for pre-athletic training. Lucian Jesus Ferry will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in finance and marketing. Vigo Springer will serve our country in the United States Navy. Connor Stanford will attend Indian River State College, where he will major in computer information technology. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in acting. Xavier Chaos Stiffen will attend Indian River State College where he will major in culinary management. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Kennedy Street will attend the Salon Professional Academy where she will major in cosmetology. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in technical theater. Peter Swanson will attend Indian River State College where he will major in science. <laughs> Sophia Tafner Inaimo Caruso is an international student from Brazil who has earned a high school diploma. After graduation, she will attend the International University of Monaco where she will major in marketing. <laughs> Logan Tessier will attend Indian River State College where he will major in business. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in instrumental jazz. Brian Lee Tillis will attend Indian River State College where he will major in electrical engineering. 
Jack Strujanski will attend Indian River State College where they will major in music performance. They have earned three college credits from Indian River State College and an endorsement in in instrumental jazz. They're a Florida Medallion Scholar. <laughs> Kayla Rain Tyson will attend the University of Florida where she will major in economics on the pre-law track. She graduated from Indian River State College with 61 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. She is graduating with an endorsement in instrumental jazz and a scholar's diploma designation. Nathan Ulrich will attend Indian River State College where he will major in business administration. He graduated from Indian River State College with 61 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation and is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Evelyn Vieira is an international student from Brazil. After graduation, she will return to her home country and take a gap year. Chantal Werner will attend Indian River State College where she will major in theater and performing arts. She has earned six college credits from Indian River State College and endorsements in musical theater and acting. Michael Taylor Wesley will attend Indian River State College where he will major in engineering and computer science. He has earned three college credits from Indian River State College. Haley Brianna Whittington will attend a CG Spectrum where she will major in 2D character concept art. She has earned an endorsement in visual arts. Alexandra Grace Wilgeroff will attend Georgia Southern University where she will major in multimedia journalism. She has earned a scholar's diploma designation. Ella Grace Willard will attend Georgia Southern University where she will major in business and finance. She has earned a scholar's diploma designation and an endorsement in orchestra. She is a Florida Medallion Scholar. Kenneth Williams will attend Indian River State College where he will participate in an electrical apprenticeship. He has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation. <laughs> Terius Cortez Williams will attend Indian River State College where he will major in cybersecurity and business. <laughs> Tania Isabel Weimer will attend Florida Atlantic University where she will major in English education and minor in Spanish. She graduated from Indian River State College with 61 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. She has earned a Scholar's Diploma designation. <laughs> Erica Zhang will attend the University of South Florida where she will major in Biomedical Studies. She graduated from Indian River State College with 70 college credits and an Associate of Arts degree prior to high school graduation. And now, the applause for the graduation of the class of Done, but we're not done yet. And before we finish, I do want to talk about another unique charter tradition at graduation. Um, after we have the introduction of the graduates and the turning of the tassels, what happens at our graduations is our faculty files into the hallway over on this side of the auditorium where they get to say their final goodbye to the graduating class. So if you want to meet up with your graduate after the ceremony, I suggest that everybody go out this door and exit um, the PAC from this direction so that our faculty and staff can say their last goodbyes to the graduating class of 2023. But at this time, I would like to invite Dr. Peggy Jones, the chairperson of the Indian River County School Board, to the stage for the introduction of graduates.
Thank you, thank you. It is certainly my privilege to be here, Mr. Zajcek. Thank you very much for the invitation. I was attending the memory night for the seniors and it was just excellent for the good part now. Graduates, please stand. As the school board chair of the school district of Indian River County, I certify that these seniors have met all the requirements set forth by the school district of Indian River County and the state of Florida. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2023 to be graduates of Indian River Charter High School. All right, graduates, turn your tassels from the right side to the left side to signify the achievement of receiving your State of Florida Diploma. Congratulations, graduates 2023.
travel on There's one day here and the next day gone Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand Sometimes you turn your back to the wind There's a world outside every darkened door Where blues won't haunt you anymore Where the brave are free and love are sore Come ride with me to the distant shore We won't hesitate to break down the garden gate There's not much time left to